Hey there! Welcome back to the channel. We will examine AMC Entertainment, represented by the ticker symbols AMC and AP. In the video, we will examine how Zitted Out and other Wall Street corporations are being criticized for driving down stock prices through illegal trading practices. We will also examine the fact that AMC closed above $8, which is incredibly optimistic for AMC, as well as the withdrawal of capital. As the price of AMC rises, shorts are losing significantly more money than you believe. Ensure that you watch till the very end. As is customary, we will begin with the chart for AMC. As previously stated, AMC has now had a really good day, so we are 13% ahead. Moreover, at one point AMC was ahead by more than 25%. And so AMC today had a pretty fantastic day. Now, this was discussed prior to the beginning of the week on Sunday, since we have a video titled Sunday Outlook. Therefore, gentlemen, ensure that you hit the subscribe button so that you never miss the Sunday Outlook video. Essentially, what we discussed in that video was that if volume breaks over the zone between 762 and 7072, there will be a run. And that's precisely what we did when we saw volume increasing and beyond 762 and 772. As previously stated, we witnessed the price increase by approximately 4%, and we remained over that mark. However, as the day draws to a close, we close below 824, which is also referred to as being in a zone of resistance. Consequently, this is precisely what we've discussed. Now, we've also stated that if volume is able to break over the 7072 zone, it's highly likely that we'll be closing between 824 and 884. Therefore, Friday remains as the final trading day of the week and the week's closest day. And so it does look like we are going to be quite likely. Again, this is not definite, but it is quite likely given the volume that the price will close between 824 and 884. As we attempt to close the price at a very positive area for AMC, however, we will discuss a few of the things we may encounter. But overall, today was a fantastic day, and we've already discussed this. So make sure you click the subscribe and like buttons if you watch the Sunday Outlook video. On the other side, we are also experiencing greater pressure at this time. Consequently, this is the fourth highest volume for APE since the stock's debut on the market. Now, today we're just up 1.37%. But if this doesn't already indicate it, it should show how twisted IGAP is and how much pressure there is. IGAP is more comprehensive than AMC in terms of its significance and its importance. Even though it was the fourth highest volume day for IGUP, the price only increased by 1.7%. And you can even see that the candle ended in red, as we observed. Consequently, since our establishment's inception, we've witnessed a decline in pricing. Well, theoretically the buyers have won because the market opened with a gap up and concluded with a gain of 107%. However, this extended week has proven that sellers and shorts have entered the market. I'm only attempting to reduce the price of IGUP, which is what we're now experiencing. Furthermore, we already knew this. Therefore, this offers us a deeper understanding of why they are attempting to demonstrate IGUP and its significance. Now, as I previously stated, it is possible that 0.88 will be reached for IGUP because we discussed why in earlier videos, so investigate that. But with IGUP today, a percentage of 1.7% is excellent. However, you may appreciate how much buy pressure is removed from us. There is nothing we can do apart from what we will discuss in the remainder of this video. In fact, that is what we will be discussing right now. Acute Citadel LLC, a biopharmaceutical business, accuses Ike, LP, and other Wall Street firms of manipulating its stock price through a number of illegal trading strategies in a lawsuit filed at Manhattan Federal Court on the first day. Why is this significant? Why is it so large? Well, Huge has always been among AMC, GME, etc. Given that their stock is heavily shorted. Again, this is what we are attempting to combat. This is the initial phase. Now, naturally, we've always discussed how we want AMC and GME to stand up and discuss synthetics and unlawful trading strategies, as you say. But clearly I am not. But now we've seen BBG do it. And I believe this is going to be the beginning of a pact. A trend in the sense that if companies believe they are being exploited and targeted by other companies, 
they should definitely bring it up. Given that a company has filed a lawsuit, this will now receive far more attention. I believe that has a greater impact than merely, you know, asking a retail investor who replied. Of course there is proof. Of course there is evidence offered. When a company does this, though, I believe it provides greater support and a better standing. Therefore, I believe that this is an extremely, extremely positive development. And again, you were aware of that. If they were to do it, there is already so much data that exposes the synthetics, how they hide the shells offshore, how they apply pressure, how they manufacture synthetics, etc. There is so much information available, and while it may not be directly relevant to BBG, I believe it can have a significant impact. And so, if we do see some benefit, some effect from this case, AMC and GMA jump on it. And we obviously know that many of these are for AMC to support themselves. We've covered a great deal on this channel, and the internet offers even more. So again, I believe this is the reason why what you guys believe about this is such a major issue. The second item is made by Road Trader. Consequently, regardless of how one examines the AMC issue, it constitutes a straightforward market maker and an entire financial system fraud. On a daily basis, a multitude of stocks rise by 100 to 400 percent. Yet none of them are suspended. AMP gets 24 percent of the pie since they recognize that this is the only hole. Consequently, this is what I'm referring to when I say that it's quite probable that the price will finish up being above 824 and 884. We are going to encounter difficulties. As previously said, AMC rose by 24% until they stopped it. And since then, we naturally observed a price decline. This has occurred not once, not twice, but numerous times. And each time they see an AMC representative, they tend to push down the price by holding the stock, which lessens the buy pressure and gives the sellers time to develop their own pressure to combat us. Consequently, I believe it's likely that the price will surpass 824 tomorrow. Based on what we've discussed in the past and the information I provided, as well as what we discussed in the Sunday forecast, if conditions are normal. However, as a result of their efforts, it is possible that the price will decline. Furthermore, I'm emphasizing this because, as previously stated, a large proportion of traders do not trade technicals, and a large proportion of traders focus on the longest term feasible. In this instance, this is the weekly graph displaying the wedge. We anticipate a breakout above the wedge. Again, if we are able to break out, this will encourage investors to purchase AMC shares. Consequently, I'm confident that we will see even greater buy pressure for AMC and for 8, which will again play a massive role as we force the shorts out of the market. The cost of borrowing has grown to 37.15%, a 9.15% increase compared to 7 days earlier. If we examine how shorts are losing more money than you believe, now, this is significant because not only are shorts losing money due to the rising price of AMC, but the fact that they must now pay even more money to retain these losing positions will give them the motivation to cover these positions, which will play a tremendous, massive role for us. This concludes the video. I hope you all can enjoy it. If you guys did not comply, we should click a like button and I will catch you next time.